I can harp on the fact that like we're not strangers to the fact that the emergent gameplay coming from you know groups like XGR and SCR and, and Atmo Esports is um, is just so incredibly cool. We listened to something very cool on the latest Star Citizen Live. Give me your first reaction when you watched it. Holy <laughs> shite, that is freaking awesome. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> How about we uh, we just get into it? Let's watch uh, a, a small snippet it. from the latest Star Citizen Live. Here it comes. Get ready. <laughs> Come on, Christian. Uh, what zero. You to I, I, zero. I, I want I want racing tracks in the bus. That's a hot topic right now. I don't even I know. know if you're aware of that. Yeah, that's such a hot topic right now. Oh, I there saw has... something. Yeah. Yeah, the way. there was, without going into too much detail, there was an email from Chris that started it all that turned into a big thread about, I don't want to spoil too much. I'll just no, say no, that no. the idea of having more opportunities to race in the persistent universe has become a very hot topic as of late. Yep. Uh, uh, next season of I, uh, you know, this season ends in, in June. Then there's a new season that starts at the end of July. Uh, look for maybe mid August for 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 an update in ISC about something. So just remember that ISC August ish, ISC August ish, something about something. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Without touching specifically on that though, I can harp on the fact that like we're not strangers to the fact that the emergent gameplay coming from you know groups like XGR and SCR and, and Atmo Esports is um is just so incredibly cool is. and we all watch yeah. it as if it's like the Super Bowl every time the events we have it's awesome. parties in our studios we put it up on the TVs in the boardroom like we love that stuff so much we want to support it as y'all know Damar Rally you know became canon um in our lore um there's a lot of discussion about how we can better support those types of groups actually Listen to that. First of all, XGR, SCR, Atmo, they're watching our stuff. They're watching our stuff and they're putting it up in the boardroom. This is next <laughs> level. Like there's more, but Ty, we set out with a mission when we started this thing to show CIG what we like, to, to show them what it is that we want to do in the persistent universe, to show them what we want to do with the racing ships. And we put our passion into it and we didn't know what it was going to be like. We didn't know if there were enough other people that were going to like it too. We didn't know if people were going to be up to it, you know, bringing competitive levels of performance and it all happened and we're streaming it live and they're watching it and they're loving it and as a result they're thinking about how to help us do more it's dude it's just so it's so gratifying like a lot of people don't see all the behind the scenes stuff right but not just you and me but everybody helping with xgr tons quite you know lots of people put in so much effort to be able to create these cool events and have these cool racing and, and do everything we do and to see racers enjoying it, see some fa like fans watching it enjoying it and seeing that CIG enjoys it as well. I mean, it's just super, super gratifying. So exciting. And, and XGR number one. <laughs> don't, I don't want to go there. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do XGR it. Number one. We are a community of racers, all of us together. We're unified in, in what we want from the, from the game. We all want the same thing, racing. We all want to bring that shit. But yeah, XGR number one. Anyway, <laughs> there's more. Let's let's go. Let's go. Much we want to support it. As y'all know, Damar Rally, you know, became canon um, in our lore. Um, there's a lot of discussion about how we can better support those types of groups actually in game, providing tools so that rather than you know having to place a ship or utilize a random rock as a marker or a checkpoint, that maybe you'll be provided with tools that will allow you to do it in a better way. Wow. Yeah, and I love provided with tools that'll allow you to do it in a better way. Maybe. <laughs> Confirmed, right? Confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, isn't oh man, the contrast of where we come from. I have never seen this kind of exciting dedication, involvement, engagement from from a 
development company, like a star, a game development company, and coming from Elite, where you all, everybody got so little, everybody got so little. There was never any information. It was always vague, small promises. And here we are, listening to a Star Citizen live, where a bunch of devs and community team members are talking about things that might happen in the future and not afraid to get us excited, not afraid of how their community re will react when not everything comes out exactly as they, air quotes, promise, because they know how we respond to this. They are, I was talking about this earlier today, um, they are as excited as we are about this. They are as passionate about Star Citizen as we are. And, oh man, I just, I lose my shit every time I hear it. It's just insane to think that, we're going to get, we're, even, you know, even if it, is, if it isn't immediate help, it is awareness. They're aware of what we want to do. So we know we're thought of when we do these things and it, it can only ever get better. You know, it can't ever go downhill with this. That's the beautiful thing about Star Citizen. It's all in development and it goes up and you've got this exciting team and dude, I can rent forever. Yeah, absolutely. Like just the fact that we are on, you know, racing, the racing scene is so on the radar and that, uh, you know, the things that we do, the races that we run, the, the issues that we have, and then the good things that we enjoy that has an influence on CIG's decisions going forward. We're actually making a difference. Super, super cool. So they mentioned three groups specifically, right? XGR. That's what we do. We do ship racing primarily. We focus on ship racing in the persistent universe. They mentioned SCR. For those that don't know, Star Citizen Racing, uh, created originally by Diplomat and his brother, uh, and they it's a website, so you go to scr.gg. You will find there some really exciting and interesting ways to get involved with racing in the Persistent Universe, even if you don't feel comfortable coming to a live event, because all the tracks that we design all of them are on there and you can run them in your own time. You can watch people their replays. If you're at all familiar with speed running, you'll find it very familiar uh, because it works very much in the same way. They mentioned Atmo, they do uh, the, the demo rally and you know, it became lore and it's primarily focused around ground racing. And it's like, we've got the whole curriculum now. It's like, we're, it's like a package that's being built. We've got the Arena Commander Racers. We had DJ Bunton from CIG looking at how they could promote uh, racing in the Arena Commander as well and getting some new tracks in there. And somewhere something was mentioned about improvements to uh, racing in the Arena Commander. I don't quite recall where it was mentioned, yeah. but it's so on their radar, dude. And it is amazing. I, I can't wait for what's going to come. And together as a whole community, not just us as hosts, but everybody that is excited to participate in it and share it with their friends, we're responsible for this because without it, they would focus on other things. The, uh, the, the one of the coolest little moments for me there is right at the beginning when uh, Jared mentions the racing or whatever, right? And like a couple of them giggle and yeah. say, this is a hot topic around the office right now. Like that tells me like <laughs> spread around. Conference room.